Have you ever been curious what the word birria means? Well, tune into this episode and I will tell you. Hey y'all, I'm Melissa Guerra. I am the Kitchen Wrangler and I was on Pinterest and I realized that there were all of these recipes for birria and I didn't have one, so I thought I would show you my recipe for birria. Now what birria is, the word actually means like stuff. That is the formal definition of the word. But birria, if you order it in a restaurant, it will be a slowly cooked stew. Now when I've had it, it has been stewed underground in an underground pit and it sits there all night until the meat gets really, really tender. But you can also make it in the comfort of your own kitchen. A lot of the recipes that you see here in the United States for birria are made with beef, but traditionally, birria is made with either goat or lamb. I chose to make it with lamb, and yeah, it has a little bit of a lamb, lamby flavor, but I like it. It has so much other flavor from the chiles and the cloves and the peppers and the spices actually works really, really well together. So I would encourage you to try the traditional way of making birria, which is with lamb. Initially, I thought it would be better for me to make the birria on the stove top because I'm kind of an old fashioned girl and I'm not really into newfangled gadgets, but my husband swears by his Instapot. And I thought, well, I will give that a try. And let me tell you, it's the way to go. In my research, I looked at a lot of traditional recipes and the stewing time for birria was somewhere between four to 10 hours. Oh yeah, it takes forever to make. But in the Instapot, it only takes an hour, which is awesome. And the other thing with an Instapot, since it is a pressure cooker combined with sort of a crock pot, all of the moisture stays in the stew that you are cooking. So you don't have to constantly replenish the pot with more liquid. The liquid in birria, the consomme or the broth, is incredibly important because that's where all of the flavor collects during the cooking process process. So don't think that you're going to stew this lamb and then throw out the broth. Oh no, that broth is incredibly important and really, really delicious. So if you're ready, let's get started. First, we need to cut the lamb meat into chunks. I bought lamb with bones in it and boneless lamb. You know the bones always give it extra flavor. Cut the meat into two to three inch chunks and set it aside in a bowl until you prepare your Instapot. The reason that I thought a pan on the stove would work a lot better than an Instapot is because in a stovetop pan, you can sear the meat and get a really nice finish on. But the trade-off is, then you always have to keep replenishing the liquid. And did I mention the part about four to 10 hours? I'm a busy lady, I don't have time for that. Set your Instapot to saute, add some olive oil, and we're going to let the chunks of lamb meat slowly cook. Meanwhile, let's prepare the chili sauce that we're going to need for stewing our birria. First, prepare your chiles by giving them a light boil, removing the top, and rinsing away the seeds. Next, add the chiles to your blender along with garlic, salt, pepper, and some cloves. Add water and blend until very smooth. Pour the chili mixture into the Instapot. Add the lid. Set your timer for pressure cooking for one hour. Set it and forget it. I really love that part. Just walk away. Once the Instapot has finished cooking and it's cooled down, remove the lid and look at that beautiful birria. Oh, but wait, we have more to do to it. It's not quite finished. Using a slotted spoon, remove the chunks of lamb meat from the Instapot and shred them by using two forks. Now set the meat aside until we finish preparing that beautiful broth. You can finish making the broth or the consomme in your Instapot, but I took it out so that you can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to roast some tomatoes because I'm going to use those as an additional flavor to our consomme. Some of the traditional recipes that I researched had either pulque or tequila added to the consomme. And uh, <laughs> I'd rather drink the tequila than add it to a stew. So I thought, well, I'm gonna add a beer. And beer is absolutely gorgeous in this birria consomme. Roast the tomatoes and then remove the seeds. Add the tomatoes then to your blender along with your beer and blend it well. I've brought the consomme up to a simmer and just pour in your beer tomato mixture. Let it reduce for about 20 minutes and it'll get nice and thick 
And don't forget, since we used lamb that has bones in it, that consomme is going to be extra velvety and smooth and delicious. So amazing. Add a little extra salt if you like, and just taste it to make sure that all of the flavors are well balanced. Originally, birria is served like a stew, and you can do that. Put the shredded meat into a bowl and pour the consomme on top. That is delicious. But it's very trendy right now to make tacos de birria, which is easy, 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 but keep the consomme and the birria meat separate so we can make them. Heat your griddle on the stove. I'm going to use a brush and remove a little bit of the fat that is collected at the top of my birria sauce, of my consomme. I'm gonna take that out and I'm going to brush that onto my griddle. Place your corn tortillas on top of that sizzling fat and add a little bit more fat. I mean, it's so, so delicious. Fry the tortillas very, very lightly. It won't take too long. On top, you can add a little bit of cheese for a nice little quesadilla effect. This looks so good. And then add some of your warm birria meat on top. Fold it over. Now you can use two tortillas or one tortilla. Sometimes with a taco de birria, it gets a little bit soggy, so that extra tortilla actually helps quite a bit. Fold the tortillas over, and there you have your taco. And if you want it crispier, add just a little bit more of that beautiful consomme fat and let it fry just a little bit more. I love the crispy part. Top with cilantro and chopped onions, and mm, this is so good. Now the consomme is for dunking, so you can use that and serve it on the side in a bowl, warm, and then you dunk your taco into that birria consomme. So, so incredibly delicious. I hope this recipe didn't seem complicated because it was actually very easy. I really encourage you to try it. And now <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy some. You know, you can always send me your recipe requests. I'm always online. You can email me at help at kitchenwrangler.com or message me through Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube. You know, I'm always listening and ready to hear your questions. I'm Melissa Guerra, I am the Kitchen Wrangler, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.